Hi everyone, and welcome to Jane Talks Buffy. Well, we fought nerds and our best friend and lost people along the way. But before we invite a bunch of potential slayers over to play, we need to wrap up season six. The amount of human lives lost was reduced significantly this season, only accounting for 11% of the total. But there were two prominent figures amongst them, and while we had a solid number of vampires bite the dust, over half at Buffy's hands, it's demons that take the top spot, with over 50% of the final number. Combine all seasons together and we see that humans just beat out vampires, with demons breaking into triple digits. And though we didn't have any in season 6, transformation still beat out zombies and monsters. No surprise, it's pretty standard by now that Buffy blows everyone else out of the water, being responsible for almost half the deaths of the season. But Spike held his own, killing 10, not bad for someone with a chip in his head, and Willow hits her highest numbers for a single season with 5. Tara and Dawn both join the party this season, protecting someone they love, so good for them. Combining all the seasons together, Buffy is still way out in front, with unknown humans, vampires and demons being contenders, and Spike, in his time on the show, has ended a good chunk of lives. Let's check back in with Buffy, and while she was wrestling her inner demons, she was also fighting real ones, accounting for over 60% of the overall kills, while half that number were vampires she killed. But looking over Overall, Buffy is still a vampire slayer through and through, with over 55% of the total. Willow has the least amount of kills out of all the big bads except for the Master, but both of her kills were pretty brutal, and the trio also didn't make a big impression either, except for Warren killing off a beloved character. And Jonathan didn't kill anyone, further separating him from the other two. And Glory is still way out in front with her time as a big bad. It was sudden, it was nasty, it was deserved, and the practical effects were awesome. It's gotta be Warren. Screw that guy, I hate him. The sound design was nasty in a good way, and I was glad to see the back of his stupid smug face. The poor innocent house was minding its own business when Spike and Buffy came along and shagged it into the afterlife. Nah, I'm kidding. Of course it's Tara. That poor girl never did anything to anyone. She was nothing but a good friend, an understanding person, and an all-round supportive and caring individual. So she did not deserve to be killed off by a stray bullet. Screw you, show! I'm gonna have to go Tara again for the aforementioned reasons. I love Xander's character arc, but he's still a bit of a goober, and Giles isn't around enough to really count. So Tara, up to her unfair death, is my favorite character this season. Warren fucking Mears. Need I say more? I mean, I probably should say more. So firstly, fuck that guy. He shot Buffy and killed Tara, walks around smugly like he's God's gift to women, calls himself daddy trying to pick up a date, tried to you know what Katrina, and then killed her and acted all casual about it. I hate his stupid face. No offense to the actor, it's a Warren thing. But he is just so smarmy and creepy and ugh. Let me tell you though, Willow is damn lucky she had that bank of episodes where she stopped being insufferable, otherwise she would have taken Warren's place in this category. I know you all love you some once more with feeling, I do too, but for me, Tabula Rasa has to be my favourite of the season, and second only to a new man as my favourite overall. It's just so much fun, it has some great quotes and an amnesia plot that allows the cast to get all silly, but it also has that song at the end as Tara and Giles leave to hit you right in the feels. I'm gonna say normal again. It's not a bad episode, but I personally don't enjoy the plot. Spike acts like a dick, and Dawn is annoying. Although it was nice to see Joyce again and hear her words of encouragement. Mmm, fashnik. Like, mmm, cookies. Or maybe, mmm, fashnik. Like, mmm, fashnik. 
So where to put season six? First of all, I'm gonna make an amendment to my current ranking and switch seasons one and five around. Season one was a simpler time compared to Annoying Dawn, Annoying Glory, and a darker tone. And I'm gonna put season six above season one into fourth place. I don't like the way they handle some characters. Spike and Willow especially are insufferable. The trio is kind of weak compared to a god in the previous season. We only got Big Bad Willow because Tara got unceremoniously killed off. And there are some episodes I don't give a damn about. Having said that, there are also some fantastic episodes in season six. Once More With Feeling, Tabula Rasa, Older and Far Away, Gone was fun. And we did have some significant character growth with Dawn and Xander. And overall, this season focused on real life as opposed to the mystical stuff. So that's why it ranks where it does. So there you have it. That is my wrap up of season six. I'm gonna be taking a little break for a couple of weeks, but when we come back, we will head straight into season seven. Home stretch now, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It really does mean a lot. Or consider subscribing if you want to be sired by my channel. Alternatively, feel free to check out my other YouTube channels. Thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Let's hope my voice is better soon. And don't let the vampires bite.